Judge, how you doing? Hey guys, how you doing today? Hey. Uh, just to start with, uh, one's man, one man's religion is another man's belly laugh. Yes, I actually had that quote in my email for a while. You no, know, I have to shared like that from the Tucson uh, atheist community. Okay. But I, I want to start with, uh, first of all, this. Jesus never existed, and I'm, I'm not saying that out of any kind of hatred towards any kind of religion. Jesus never but what? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Existed. Existed? Okay. Never existed. The, yeah, the evidence for Jesus existing is, is pretty flimsy. Yeah, it's minute, without a doubt. Okay. Um, I, what I want to say is I, I watch you guys faithfully. When I'm not, when I'm, when I'm sober, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> now there's a testimonial for you. <laughs> why, 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 why is it? Yeah, yeah, I'm a recovering Catholic and, uh, and a drug addict. Kind of. but, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, why, why are we always defensive about uh, about our belief or our, our using the word faith to being an atheist? Uh, I watch you guys on the show, and we're always defending our our, our stand or uh, our beliefs. But the Christians or anyone with a religion doesn't have to do that. It's naturally accepted because that's their religion. Yeah, it's it's mostly because uh, Christianity, or at least religion in some form, is the accepted norm in this country. And so, essentially, we're getting questions about how can you be atheist and how can you not believe in God and stuff. And you're you're defaulted in the position of saying, well, we don't believe because blah 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 blah. Um, right, we have to we kind of contrast ourselves to the norm in a sense. Yeah, I mean, in my personal life, it's almost to the point, because most of my friends are atheists, that when I meet someone who is not, it's almost like, ooh, that's kind of neat. Why do you believe in God? <laughs> you know? And it just doesn't go over very well. You know, no, they don't, no, don't no, get no, it. It's so. a God stuff, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I can make you, you're talking about the separation of church and state, and there, there is none. Definitely not. I'm talking about uh, Kerry running and being a Catholic, and yeah. our state, uh, the, the um, legislature and, and the Senate, right. and who's a Christian, well, who's a Baptist, who's whatever. To be and fair, I, I though, didn't see one atheist in there. Yeah, not to, one. They mentioned one. To be fair, though, uh, we do not live in a religious-run state, as in you are not mandated to be part of religion. You are not punished in any way, shape, or form. But don't you legally? Feel that legally, their moral legally values is. are. are, are Put on me through the laws that are made by people with those religious beliefs and those, those morals. Yeah, that's a good point. Christianity. And, <laughs> to and a every, certain everyone extent. Everyone can say they're, they're a Christian. I, I can sit in a bar and, with somebody and uh, they, they smoke a joint or a cigarette or they're drinking a beer, but they call themselves a Christian. Are they practicing Christians? Are they real Christians? But they believe in God, so they're Christians. Are, yeah. it, it becomes a flimsy, a, a flimsy philosophy to me. Yeah, yeah. Most Christians are not living as such. So, um, true, true uh, church and state, just one more point I'd like to make. During the 14th and 15th century, the reason for art being so religious during that period is that artists could not get commissioned if they did anything other than religious art because that's how they got paid because the, the church or religious uh, community was so, so active within the, the state, within okay. government. Yeah, I've heard I've heard the argument that uh, purgatory was was uh, kind of an invention of the church, and 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 the effect of that was that was that um, you know everything's an invention of the church. Well, of course, of course, right. But but even more so. My I mean, God, man. right, right. But but above and beyond the Bible, right? It was it was an invention of the Catholic Church, and and had the effect of, of the idea of purgatory is that uh, if you do if you do some some good in, in the world, then then you will spend less time in this purgatory before you go on to heaven, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of a holding place or whatever. And, and it had the effect of, of making people do things for the church in order to spend to, to, with the idea of them spending less time in purgatory. And I understand that a lot of the religious work, or a lot of the uh, art and such at that time, was was religious because of that reason, which is more or less what you're saying. You couldn't get paid unless you were an artist. Right, it, yeah. It was one other point. Why are there no modern day miracles? I mean, there's burning bushes and exactly. burning of seas. Well, you know, according to the Catholic the Church, we have Mother uh, Teresa performing today. a miracle after her death. So uh, yeah. we have Pardon we have me, claims I'm of miracles. We have. Uh, I we, ain't seen no Red Sea parting though. Yeah, well, so. what miracle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. and actually, Copperfield. Oh, yeah, he must. He must be in. Yeah, we got to uh, call a couple weeks. By God. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna let you guys go. I appreciate the time. Thank okay, you. Okay, thanks a lot for calling. Yeah, let's go on to another caller. We have got Tom. How you doing? Yeah, uh, I'm the fellow who was on a minute ago, and I was taking a long time yes, to very getting sorry, around. I, sorry, I was getting around to saying that I hope that the that the atheists are going to be supporting the freedom of people to marry whom they choose. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Because this yeah. is uh, this is so obviously a Christian ideal exactly. that is uh, you know that the courts exactly. have, have held up all these years, and it's time that we get rid of yeah. this one too. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. ACA uh, has issued a, a, a uh, the board has issued a statement like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. To that effect, that, that they see no no secular argument for uh, for for uh, prohibiting uh, gay, same sex marriage. And they've come out in favor of it, and uh, yeah. I'm very proud of them for doing that. I think that's a great decision. Oh, I agree. And I thank you very much for the time. Thank okay. you. Okay, thanks Bye. a lot for calling. This guy is slightly grumpy on Jesus' birthday. So God says, kill that kid's mom so this guy will loosen his finger. That's God, folks, a crazed thug.